Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. On this show, we've got something special. So stick around and I'll show you what we're going to do. Last fall, unfortunately, my mother-in-law passed away. And some dear friends of hers sent this angel to the funeral home and would like it placed at the grave site. I didn't put it there last fall because I wanted to give it some protection against the elements. And so I waited till this spring and I'm going to build a shelter for it to kind of give it a little protection so it'll last longer. What I've done so far is I've gotten some western red cedar and I've milled it and I'm going to use that to make the shelter. What I have in mind is I have these two pieces for the back. I have two more pieces for the sides and I have another piece to make the roof. So what my plan is is to place a statue here and figure out how high I need this back piece to be. And I'm going to put a peaked roof on it. So I'll let this represent the roof. And it'll probably go about like that. Then after these are glued up and trimmed down, then I've got a couple pieces for the side. They'll go on something like that. Then I'll mill this piece for the top. So that's kind of my plan. First thing I'm going to do is figure out how long I need these pieces for the back, cut them off, and glue them together. And then we can continue on from that point. All right, I'm at the point where I'm gluing up some panels. I've got two panels glued up here. They're uh, roof panels because I wanted the roof to be just a little bit wider to give it a little more protection. So I've got them glued up. I'll set them aside. And now I'm going to glue up the back panel. All I'm going to do is put on some tight bond two. Line those up. There we go. Well, I've got all the parts just sitting here. Nothing's glued or nailed. I just kind of wanted to get more of a proof of concept look at it. And everything looks pretty good. <clears throat> I think it looks the way I want it to be. So I've made this roof a little bigger so it sticks out a little further to give a little more protection to everything. I'm going to leave the sides sitting on top of the back instead of being down next to it. And I've reached a point to where I can take all the parts off and give them a sanding. Well, sanding to 120 goes real fast on this cedar and it gives a nice finish. Uh, now I've got a couple of the pieces for the roof clamped together and glued and I'm going to stick a couple brads in it and set this aside to dry uh, and then we'll move on to some more sub-assemblies. I think you can see when the angel is in place that if it lays in there it does not sit square with the base which means the angel has to tip up to be straight. So I made this little cedar block and it's sized just to fit in there so that the angel sits squarely. 
So what I'll do is I'll glue this little block in place. I'm at the point <clears throat> to where I can glue the bottom and the sides together. I'm just going to put them together, put one nail in it, and then I'll clamp it up and put the rest of the nails in it. Like I say, all I'm doing is just sticking a nail in it until I can get it clamped. And then I'll stick some more nails in it. Well, now I can put the sides on the back. And all I have to do is spread some glue on it. I'll lay it on, get it positioned, remove the roof, turn it over, and shoot some brads in it. I leave the roof on so that I've got a pretty good idea of the alignment. All right, there's the sides on. Now the roof would just sit on like that. I think I'll leave just a little bit of overhang in the back for some protection on the back. So let's go ahead and attach the roof. I don't need a lot of glue for that because there's no real stress on it. And that looks pretty good. So we'll just nail that in place. There it is. So we'll let the glue dry. And then we'll see about uh, a way to attach a stake to the bottom and also to put the angel in. The way I'm going to mount this out at the cemetery is I bought a two foot length of half inch galvanized pipe. And I'm going to attach, I'm going to drive this in the ground and I'm going to have this attached to the bottom of the shelter. And I'm going to do that with this half inch floor flange and it'll be mounted to the bottom of the structure. Now because this bottom piece isn't all that heavy or thick, I'm going to take another piece of wood and I'm going to cut it out a little bit bigger than the floor flange and I'll mount it to the bottom of this then mount the floor flange. I'm in the process of putting a couple coats of bare premium semi-transparent waterproofing stain and sealer. I've done the back and the sides. They're nice and dry. Now I'm going to do the inside and then we'll go about mounting the statue inside. Well, it's come time to mount the statue inside the housing. I'm using my favorite adhesive, PL Premium 
polyurethane construction adhesive. This stuff is great. I'm going to put some on this block that's inside. And I'm going to put some on the bottom. of the angel. And then I'm going to put the angel inside. And I think I'll put a clamp on it. Well here's the final location of the angel should last a good long time. And I think my mother-in-law would be really happy, not only with the angel, but with the shelter that was custom made for it. Well, I really enjoyed that build. I think it came out very nice. I don't know if you noticed or not, but during the build, I never really measured anything. I took all the dimensions off of how much room I needed around the angel. When I took it out to the cemetery, though, I did measure it, and it measured 22 inches tall, 10 inches wide, and 6 inches deep. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. You could leave a comment. I answer all my comments. If you think you know somebody that might enjoy seeing that build, please share it with them. Uh, I'll put links down below for the adhesive I used because as I've mentioned in other videos it's uh, it's really a good adhesive. I hope you enjoyed watching this build as much as I enjoyed building it. Till next time, thanks again for watching.